In a statement, Hyundai's European boss claimed that flying cars will become a reality. Yes, it will arrive, said Michael Cole, president and chief executive of Hyundai Motor Europe, speaking at the International Automotive Summit of the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders in London. We will have flying cars in the future. According to him, technology would play a critical role in reducing traffic congestion on the roadways. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how this company is investing $1.5 billion into flying cars. But before we do get into it, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell icon down below so you always stay up to date with our next uploads we post for you guys. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into it. He mentioned Hyundai's own investment in a flying taxi project as well as plans for pop-up airports for electric vertical takeoff and landing EV tall planes, the first of which might be in Coventry by the end of the year. By 2025, the South Korean automaker plans to invest $1.5 billion in what it refers to as urban air mobility. In January, Hyundai and British firm Urban Airport launched plans for the world's first pop-up Air One mobile airport for these vehicles in the heart of Birmingham, West Midlands. According to experts, the so-called urban air mobility revolution will be worth a little under $1.5 trillion over the next 20 years as firms and governments alike invest in EV tall aircraft and the infrastructure needed. It's an opportunity to decrease congestion by getting part of the traffic off the ground and into the air, Mr. Cole said, of Hyundai's Coventry project for a flying car airport. We are now a smart mobility service provider. It demonstrates how swiftly things are changing. I never believed we'd see it a few years ago, he went on to say. Ashley Andrew, managing director of Hyundai Motor UK, is equally optimistic about the future of flying cars, drones, and taxis. It's commonly stated that the automobile industry will change more in the next five years than it has in the previous 100. He told this is money. In fact, it isn't simply changing quickly, it is undergoing such a transformation that it requires a new name, the mobility industry. Hyundai, for example, is investing in the future of transportation with autonomous driving, zero emission power solutions, robotics, and flying taxis. At Hyundai, this isn't the product of an after-hours think tank. It's an $87 billion group-wide investment, he said. I've been telling my kids recently that they won't recognize our cities by the time they're my age, Mr. Andrew added. They won't be traveling in the same way that dad does now. They believe it's awesome that they've hired Dr. Jiwan Chin, a 30-year NASA veteran, to lead Hyundai's urban air mobility business. And they're extremely thrilled about the potential of airborne taxi service. It's one thing to say we'll all be traveling in autonomous pods and flying through our cities in the future. It's another to actually make it happen, he stressed. At Hyundai, they don't need to operate on whims, they've got a solid plan and a place to get there as well. Hyundai made waves with its plans for flying cars when it showed a concept electric aircraft built with Uber at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in January 2020. It has a cruising speed of up to 180 miles per hour and can fly at altitudes of 1,000 to 2,000 feet. It's meant to go on excursions of up to 60 miles and has a flying speed of up to 180 miles per hour. Hyundai will develop and deploy the air vehicles while Uber will provide airspace support services, linkages to ground transportation, and client interfaces through an airborne rideshare network, the two companies stated in a joint statement released in Vegas in January last year at the event. The SA-1 that was on display at the event is capable of vertical takeoff and landing and was created specifically for aerial ride sharing. The Hyundai car will be entirely electric, with distributed electric propulsion and the recharging will take roughly 5-7 to seven minutes during peak hours. The electric source powers the rotors and propellers that round the airframe, reducing the risk of a single point of failure. In comparison to a large rotor helicopter with combustion engines, having multiple smaller rotors minimizes noise, which is extremely essential in big cities. The SA-1 can be piloted, but the two companies claim they want the air taxis to be self-driving in the future. Well guys, that was our video on how this company is investing $1.5 billion into flying cars. What do you think of this whole thing? Make sure you guys let us know in the comment section down below. But anyways guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell icon so you always get notified when we post brand new videos for you. We are signing off for now, but we will be sure to catch you all in the next one. Peace.